Hello everyone, this is Daikai, just basically love approaching it, and today we're going to talk about BitChute and why you should subscribe to me there. comes to BitChute, it's mostly on par with YouTube, but things it isn't equal on, it does better. Only thing I prefer about YouTube over BitChute, aside from having a bigger demographic, is on YouTube, the processing always moves at a consistent length. BitChute, however, it's sometimes inconsistent, no matter how long the video is. Sometimes they'll go quick, sometimes they'll go expected, and sometimes they'll even take hours. But for the most part, the processing is respectable and on par with YouTube, but still, YouTube at least is always consistent with it. I don't know if you could do a community post on BitChute or not, like YouTube, however, um, I have not been on BitChute long enough to know this, but, who knows, maybe like YouTube, you have to gain enough subscribers to get, to do a community post. I don't know, I haven't been on long enough, and I definitely do not have enough subscribers. Hell, I don't even have enough subscribers on YouTube to even do a community post, so yeah. BitChute also promotes freedom of expression, so you can post your opinion no matter what it is, nudity, sexual content, violence, etc. I don't know about real violence though, non-fictional type, but in all honesty, if you want to watch someone getting brutally fucked up for real, you need to see a fucking doctor right now because you clearly have goddamn problems. Also, from what I noticed, you can get demonetized no matter how much subscribers you got on BitChute, where on YouTube, I heard you gotta wait a while, but also, when it comes to BitChute, you cannot get demonetized either, which is a good thing. BitChute was made for YouTubers who either get their channels removed or demonetized, and for those of us that makes content that gets claimed. Sure, as of now, the monetization doesn't benefit me, as I'm only doing this stuff as a hobby right now, but many fellow content creators use this as a job too, plus down the road I've been considering turning this into a job once I've gained enough supporters. Though I strongly doubt the whole COPA situation is nearly as bad as it seems, but having an alternative is better safe than sorry. But for those panicking, please chill out. Just wait and see what happens. Be prepared, but don't panic. This could not be nearly as bad as it seems. Remember the whole net neutrality thing back in 2017? Everyone was losing their fucking minds, but guess what? It wasn't nearly as bad as it was made out to be, and I'm expecting YouTube to be the same. It's still absolute bullshit that you can get sued, especially that much fucking money over not choosing what your demographic is. It's especially dumb that I've heard you can get in trouble if you set your video to adults, but the retards who work for YouTube and Culpa can sue you because apparently these jackasses think they know what our targeted demographic is over us, the content creators. It's especially fucking stupid that there's no option for the general audience. There was gonna be, but those greedy fuckwads didn't want to pay the goddamn extra money to make it easier on content creators. Yes, I'm not targeting towards the general audience or children. I have nothing to worry about. My targeted demographic are teenagers and adults, and I make sure I earn it by throwing in language and even discussing spicy subjects. But the thing is, though, we shouldn't have to be your fucking babysitters when parents should actually be good parents and pay goddamn attention to what their mother fucking children are watching. It's not our fault the content creators that your kids at COPA should be taken away from you because you're terrible parents. We should not be held responsible that you are horrible people. That is the problem. I won't rant any longer about the COPA situation because like I said, it's probably not that bad and we're all more than likely just overreacting. And if you want to hear more about it, just watch ET and Entertainment Talk Nations and D-Man 1954's videos. They go into more depth about the situation than I do. 
But even with the Copa situation aside, YouTube's copyright claiming and censorship is fucking retarded horse shit, so I'll have some exclusives to bitch shoot. For example, my Kamen Rider gun review on YouTube was claimed by Toei. I sent YouTube a dispute explaining why it's fair use, but YouTube, like the little bitches they are, let Toei decide instead of having one of their own fucking employees decide if it's fair use or not. The thing is, Toei are fucking assholes that make even Toho look goddamn innocent when it comes to claiming. When you're making Toho look fucking innocent, there's something really goddamn wrong there. Bitch, you'd thankfully only remove stuff that isn't fair use, like stuff that can replace the original product, and of course full movies, full episodes, etc. But my videos can't replace the original work, it's just me using clips as my evidence to my points in my videos with nothing that makes you feel like, oh, I'm in the mood for this, but I'll just watch the review instead of the actual product the video was telling me to watch or not. So Bitch, you'd keeps my work up, thankfully. Still haven't given up on trying to upload my Kamen Rider gun review to YouTube though, I'm still gonna try to win this war a little longer. But if not, then I'll have to edit it down, making it, making the YouTube version the weaker version of the review in the process, sadly. But until then, I'm still gonna try a little longer to get it up there because I worked very hard, and though Bitsuit kept it up, YouTube has a bigger audience, so that hard work, I'm gonna try my best to get the best version on the there. Instead of making it inferior, I want the version I have on BitChute to also be on YouTube. I don't want the half-ass version to be on the fucking mainstream site. I want the version I worked hard on to be on both platforms, especially the fucking one that's mainstream. Anyway, please subscribe to me on BitChute, link is in the description down below, you'll get more content due to YouTube's moronic claiming, and if the COPA situation is as bad as it sounds, which I strongly doubt, BitChute will be my new platform. If you're a fellow content creator, I highly recommend making a BitChute account. You can't get demonetized, there's no censorship, the copyright system is fair, and it's not dealing with the bullshit that COPA is trying to pull. Anyway, comment your thoughts down below, and if you like this video, hit that like button, share it around, and most importantly, please subscribe and maybe even follow me on social media where I post more awesome content. This is Daikaiji Spacella leaving the building.